then I'm part of the group four and I ask what talking about the information. In the myth information language, when it talks about the revolution, it talks about revolution in the human form and revolution in the computer form. He makes his reference to the statement saying information equals knowledge equals power. Talking about how the more information the people can control, the more power they have. So basically, the, with the introduction of the computer age, obviously helps and improves the speed of information, which means power tends to shift towards the people, which also aids, aids democracy. And this part, this revolution could come in two forms. It could come as a good revolution that equally helps and supports everyone, or it could be another product of capitalism, where you see it tend to help mostly the rich, and the poor don't really benefit from this 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 power because of the cost and prices of these these gadgets and these these things that tend to pass this information. Logical revolution, shift in power, radical new ideas. Today we look at into the new media that is taking the nation by storm. Computers can now be found in every workplace and home around the globe due to its inexpensive prices, giving the user all sorts of new power no previous generation could ever dream of. Computer scientist J.C.R. Lichter states that the revolution will be a new era of involvement and participation. These new computers are expected to provide equality for all users, um, providing every type of information for everybody who looks. But it might not be as good as it sounds. It is predicted that the wealthy will use this technology to gain even more profits and the uneducated will use it as a tool to spread misinformation. Although the world's modernization can be scary, it can also be exciting. So, all you folks watching at home, we'll just have to wait and see. Now to you, Yanni, telling us about the ideas. Thank you, Robert and Emily, for providing the context and summary for Winner's work. Now, let's turn to ideas today and how they manifested themselves. Langdon Winner brings a new perspective to the relationship between computer technologies and how it's used, especially in relation with the government and politics. Winner's article, Myth Information, which is actually written in 1986, suggests that a new revolution is upon us, as the integration of computer technologies in society is, is ushering in a new world order, one of mass spread of information through online participation, democracy, and capitalism. However, Winner's views and ideas are not all utopic, as many of his criticisms in his article have manifested themselves today in the form of politics and online participation. Disinformation has been plaguing democracy over the past decade, as we've seen with the recent presidential elections, both in 2016 and in 2020. Voters are involuntarily and voluntary, voluntarily spreading disinformation online through mass participation, all enabled through new technologies. Continuing, winners' criticism have also manifested themselves today as computers have been used more and more of a tool for capitalism as opposed to equality and democracy. User data is being collected and used against them in the form of advertisements, both political and commercial, and disinformation. Well, that's it for tonight, folks. Signing off is Jonathan, and good night. <laughs>